are certain Atreus could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No. That is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are the wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother. What exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise? You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. Faye herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle, the secret. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. He's so loyal. Why? Ever. Oh. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The wolves lead us here. I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimble Winter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Another Find you, watcher! <laughs> Incoming fire!
The way forward is magically sealed. Something in here is giving you power. Might I suggest the ominous broken gravestone? The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction. Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. <laughs> the Nords live in a well. No. The Well of Earth, their home is... hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like... being inside your own mind. Brother, what is it? The wolves are distracted. Raiders have been a blight on this land. The way they've abused its creatures. Perhaps we should do something about them. Perhaps. Up to you, brother. If the Norns know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit late.
the Nolan's domain is like being inside your mind. Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mamiya, have you encountered these Nolan's? Not personally. Ray is right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. There, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. One more, the tree. Father, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. Bold. The wolves cannot focus. Kratos. A raider encampment. Shall we take care of them, brother? can smell more danger. The wolves fear that which can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that. Mumir, which part of my story do you believe is exaggerated? The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. Wait, the wolves are troubled. <laughs> A 
cursed wolf. I grow tired of your lack of empathy for your own wolves. It's Demos, isn't it, brother? I should not have told you, Demos. You see yourself in these wolves, in their fear. Let us keep moving. As I was saying, tales of time travel always strain credulity. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. Secret when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. She hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. Ah! 
Another coal raider camp. Kratos, we should do something about them. The one who captured the wolves before you freed them? I will not know. Regardless, they should draw some comfort from his death.
They're still scared. Not of the Raiders. Do not... Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Girls. Good girls. I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos is brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom, magic, ability to tolerate you for long periods of time. I was going to say brutality. That works. This is the area. <laughs> Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Kratos, I feel the Norns over here. Are you ready? Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A crap! This search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? I've expanded my inventory since we last spoke. Whatever you need, I'll create. Anything for Freya?
Kratos? A Vanier crest? Quite the prize. What can I make for you? Got time to chat? Oh. You won't believe it, Mimir. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. Another crane. Another sleep and troll, courtesy of the dwarves. Seems that only rotates in the other direction. So this outpost is what's left of Fjortelund. Sigrun spoke of going up to these people before she joined the Valkyries.
Musical instrument from your homeland, isn't it? Can you play? Yes. Will you? No. Now, where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tears vault. Hmm? The Alpha! That weapon is replicating!
told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you, Mamir? Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. Those runes over there can shed some light. What? No, she never mentioned. Is that a key? Hmm. Wonder what lock that key belongs to. No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find its partner. Another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come on. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. Suppose I did.
The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. mentioned that Fimble Winter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I had it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I am no longer sure that I do. That's correct. The oarsman. A monument of conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though. from Tyr's poor statue. Iron peace, not a golden war. Tyr used to talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact.
Another Fjotalund market. Aye, this place must have been part of Seagram's kingdom. A first outpost preceding further expansion. Come <laughs> on. 